Hey guys, it's Hybrid Haroon, back with another video, but this time it's a different type of video. Typically I do tech reviews or stuff along the likes, or Legos, or whatever I've been doing recently. But today I went to the Nike store, because I have a pair of Nike Dunks Panda, I'll show an image of them. But I got that in the UAE, and the thing is that you can't just run with them, you can't go anywhere with them without them creasing like crazy. So today I went to the Nike store and got a few things. So let's go review the bag and see what did Nike, what did I get at Nike store and is it all good? Now the first thing we got in the Nike bag was a few socks so i got some ankle ones because i only have the ones that go all the way up to your cap and it's not really that comfortable and it gets annoying but i did get ones that go halfway up so i think that i quite like these a lot so those are the two things i got these are really expensive though 50 dollars total on socks which i did not know that until i got home which is pretty ridiculous i'm not gonna lie for just a few socks but then i got this so I have a gray Nike sweatpants that I got recently. However, those ripped within the first week. So um, I'm gonna try these on and uh, let's see how these look on me. Okay, so I just put these on and I'm not gonna lie, they feel very weird. Like, let me show you, hold on. So you can see that, so we're over here and you can see that like, yeah, they're kind of comfortable and from the top wise. And these ones though, kind of, they stick to your leg a lot. Like, it's kind of weird. Maybe I just need to get used to these. I don't know. Maybe it's just a new clothes thing. But me personally, I think I'm okay with it. I think I'd write this something like 7 out of 10. Because compared to the other one, which is an actual fleece one, I'll actually just show you right now. So this is the one I was talking about. So it's a fleece. And, like, it's super comfortable. It stretches all throughout. But then, like I said, it had a rip somewhere back here. And I was like, I really can't just wear that anymore. So you know what, we're about to test on some shoes. I got two shoes, so might as well just take out the socks so I can get ready. See how comfortable they actually are. I bet you though, they're the very same material of like the other one. So yeah, like same material, very similar feel. Yeah, they kind of are. Not gonna lie. So these are the ones that go a little bit up on your ankle, not like fully. The other one, bare, I don't think even touches your ankle, so, yeah. But this one, I think it's kind of good for its size. So, now we're on to the shoes, because the shoes is what Nike is mainly known for. So, first, we have proper running shoes. So, I had, like I said, the Nike Dunks, and those are not that comfortable. They, I only wear them to when I go out, and because I'm in PE or personal fitness in my school, I can't really run in those because they'll get creased and they'll get messed up. So, the, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to reveal these shoes and I'm going to try them on. So these shoes, um, they're called Nike Running. I don't know exactly what they're called. They both come with shoe trees inside of them so I can use those on my Nike Dunks. You can see that they're blue and white which kind of looks good. So yeah, let's try them on and see how they are. Alright, so I am back. A friend called me and um, yeah. So back to these shoes. So they're blue and white, which I think kind of looks good on me because these can go on jeans, this can go on anything, just like what I'm wearing right now about the Nike sweatpants. These come with shoe trees inside of them. So yes, and yeah, just basically everything's good about them. So let's take out the shoe tree or whatever these things are called. I heard they're called shoe trees or are those the wooden things? I don't know. So um, yeah. So these shoes were like $30. These were not that expensive, but I trust the material and I trust Nike. That's why. I was just talking about my friends, really stupid. So um, anyway, I'm gonna try these on and we're gonna see how they fit. I already tried them on. I already know how they fit. I already know how they feel. So yes. And by the way, to all the Daisy people who are watching this, I am okay wearing this in my bedroom on the carpet because these are brand new and they're spotless, okay? Got that clear. So trying them on, I think they're really comfortable. I think that they, I tried running in them and I'm not gonna lie, I felt really good in them. I didn't feel like the, the back of my heel was popping out. I didn't feel like anything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna try my shoes real quick. 
Let me adjust the camera so you can see better. It was a lot better. So now they're on. I think that these look kind of good, I'm not gonna lie, especially on me. They fit really comfortably because of course these are new, so they are a bit tight on the top and stuff. But overall, I definitely feel like they work because yeah, they're just very comfortable. But now it's on to the next shoe. Now these shoes are kind of like the dunks, but they're not. You'll see in a minute. So let me untie these shoes and uh, get ready for those shoes. All right, grand finale. So this is the um, Nike, they're called the Blazer Mid 77 Vintage. And what's funny is that it says display over here, so I don't know. It comes in this retro kind of looking box with this logo over here. Like I said, I'm not really a sneaker person. I'm um, honestly, I've never really been interested in them. All I cared for is a shoe looked good and it felt good. And I think these shoes kind of check that out. So let's put these on and I actually have to tell you guys something about these shoes because the blazer has something different about them from other shoes now of course I'm this is the left shoe so I'm gonna take out the shoe tree first I always put the left shoe on because the left one I feel like always fits comfortably I don't know just me so taking this out you have to realize that these two are out right so why would I keep both of these laces out and then on this one you can see that um, this one's fully laced up. Now, of course, I didn't put this one back on, but there's a reason why I'm right now about to do what I'm about to do. Like right now, I'm taking this out, taking this out. Let me, how do I do this? I completely forgot. Okay, yeah, here. This one's out, time to get this one out. And get this one out. All right. So these are the blazers. So it's mid 77, 1977. I don't know uh, anything about these. All I know is that they look sick as hell and also they are quite comfortable. Now you can see the two holes. Why did I mention that? Because without, you have to keep these open when you're putting them on, okay? Because otherwise it's virtually impossible to put your foot in. So you can see right over here, I basically just slid my foot in put it down a little bit, my shoe is in, now all I need to do is just tie them, repeat the same process on the other one, just open it up a bit, make sure the tongue doesn't get on your uh, foot, and then, oh, don't increase the, what the hell did I do? Alright, got it, all fixed. So, um, by the way, so recapping back to the holes. So as you know, the two are still out, okay? The two holes are still out. So obviously, if you know how to tie your shoe, which I didn't actually for a while, so here's what you do. You take one lace and you put it in this one, right? So what I do is I put it halfway through, and this one, I do the same. I put it halfway through, okay? And then guess what? I put both of them at the same time. Okay, so not all the time do you have to do the last one. Sometimes I do the last one, sometimes I don't. But I like my laces a bit long so that I know what I'm doing and I have extra space to tighten them correctly. So yeah, when you tie them like normally. And bang, just tie your Nike blazer. So it's as simple as crossing the laces. So yeah, so it's basically the same thing. This one, this one. I see a hole on the other side. So this one's on the right side. Okay, this is my right. The hole is on my left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the left one, okay? And I'm gonna just keep it in there. This one's on the left, but you can see that there's also two holes open. I'm gonna put it on the bottom one, okay? I'm gonna tighten it. And it's up to you if you wanna continue tightening it, you know, if you wanna go to the other two holes. I'm personally not gonna do that right now because I don't feel like it, but you can if you want. You just do the same process. Tie your shoe up properly, and the laces feel very soft, by the way. And there you go. You just tied your shoes. Now, let me get a better angle for them. Again, like I said, I'm in my own house, and uh, these shoes are very clean. So looking at it from here, they are a bit weird walking because you have such high um, of this thing. It feels weird to walk around. I'll admit, for the first few times, it felt weird. But after a while, you do eventually get used to it. So um, let me adjust the camera so I can see myself better. All right, I think this is a good angle. So you can see over here that if I adjust it a bit down, you can see that this is how it looks. 
The blazers look like this, okay? So these are called the Blazer 77 Retro. And you can see the logo goes over here. You have here. You have your good shoelaces over here. Another logo. And on the back, it writes uh, Nike, which you probably saw in the other one. It's just like this one, and except it's on the right. Now, I already showed you. These two holes were open. This one, I, um, this one was still open, so I just, you know, reclosed it. So I think I look good in this. I'm not going to lie. So that's my first shoe review ever, actually. Shoe review, Nike review, whatever the hell you want to call it. So thank you guys for listening. Comment, like, and subscribe, and tell me if this probably helped you with your shoes. What if this helped you with your uh, lace situation with your blazers? Please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you later, and the next video is going to be about the Nike Dunks. So be ready for that. Have a good day.